So I was just notified that there is a intruder in my garden. Where are you, intruder? What must we do to track this intruder down? There you are. What do you think you're doing over here, huh? What do you think you're doing? You're on the wrong side of the fence, critter. Come on. You need to go home. Did you get... How did you get over here? Huh? You didn't come through the chicken wire, I don't think. Come on. Let's go out to the gate. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Not. Not wrong way. Okay. garden today and you're trying to get in here? Hey YouTube, this is going to be a farm update, farm report, live, while I'm down here, not live, this is going to be recorded, <laughs> I'm used to be doing the live thing, just want to do a real quick rundown of everything we got going on, where our garden stands and some of the other farm stuff, stay tuned. So pretty much we have a pumpkin patch that we're supporting now. Um, the pumpkins and squash have definitely taken over and we're getting some good growth in there. We'll check them out here in a second. We're gonna have no shortage of pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, <laughs> all the pumpkin stuff. I don't think it's gonna be a problem this year uh, on what we pull out of here. So that's gonna be good. We'll give you a close up of some of that action. Uh, the corn, the, the four stands of corn that are all the same type, like I was talking about last time, we pulled a bunch of ears off. I'll show you the results. I'll insert those in here um, to show you how that went. My goodness, guys, calm down. The pigs are anxious. They know it's feeding time. They're like, you're here. It's time to eat. Um, while I try to get this in, get the watering done. But uh, yeah, the corn just didn't come through. It, uh, whatever happened in fertilization, on this now this taller the darker green stuff which i got the name of and now i forgot it but it's a different uh, breed it's starting to tassel out so we should be getting some ears developing and hopefully a little less hot a little less windy which is what i think happened to this other corn is it was just a matter of the wind and the heat all combined and maybe some of the seed issues affected it so we're hoping this stand of corn does a little bit better um, but it definitely looks stronger than this other uh, sweet corn. They're all types of sweet corn, just different, different little, slightly different breeds. Different hybrids, if you will. Um, so we're looking forward to see how this comes out. And uh, we can keep this strong and harvest this somewhere around the middle of September, maybe. Well, it'll be six weeks from tasseling or something like that. So end of September, we'll see how this comes out. Um, but the pumpkins and everything are looking good. The cucumbers are starting to come through down here. You can see, got the pellet gun on standby for the rabbits in case they decide to re-try to infiltrate the area, which I haven't seen any this morning, but that doesn't mean they're not around, right? Um, but we do have some cucumbers uh, finally starting to pop in. 
Uh, pepper plants, we've already picked some peppers. I don't know that we're going to get any more out of them. The pepper plants there. They might be done developing. The tomatoes are not looking so hot. I think we may have uh, watering issues. We got the one plant here that's doing decent. But uh, I don't know if we're going to get any tomatoes off of it or not. Just got to keep watering and see what happens. So here's our corn situation. This was uh, the one type that I was talking about last week. Uh, so we got a lot of ears. That wasn't a problem, but they, there were some pollination issues. You can see uh, this one's probably, this is actually better than some of the other ones we looked at. But um, You can see all the kernels didn't come in. Um, reading up on it says uh, a lot of times your problems can be from uh, heat, wind, <laughs> which pretty much is all the time around here um, during the pollination season or time of the growing and uh, that could have been our problem it looks like it probably was uh, there's other things that can affect but uh, the seed you know age of the seed and stuff but uh, probably all those factors combined led us to having this situation so just we're hoping that uh, one uh, other type that's in the middle there the dark green turns out a little better uh, otherwise our corn's pretty much a uh, feed crop All right, we're gonna start down here on the corn. This is the corn, uh, patch of corn that we pulled uh, the ears from. Uh, you can see the rabbits were getting in on it. Oh, yeah, the little suckers. But we pulled all those ears out of this uh, stand right here. So that's quite a bit for just this one area. That's where we got all those ears from. Uh, you still got some, a few more that are in here, uh, but this is the one that didn't, germinate so well or whatever the situation yeah whatever the germination situation was with the ears there um there's a few more in here we can pull out later you can see there the one that how it germinated and whatnot and just we left that one there um but yeah all we got four stands of this same type and they all had a similar result and again we're not sure if it's the seed the time of year because it was so windy and hot or whatnot but it could have been all that here's a similar stand it and that one was the end at the end of the uh irrigation pattern too so maybe it was something to do with that because it is shorter and uh, smaller when you look at to compare to this stand of the same stuff planted at the same time uh, we haven't pulled anything out of here yet but we did do some investigating and did see some similar problems with the ears but we're, we're not sure if it's throughout but there are ears in here sunflowers how you doing sunflowers hopefully the bees are getting to work on those this one looks like it's drooping like you not been getting water buddy the birds may have been in here a little bit now all right checking on that here's some bees going to work get, get to work bees yeah uh, do your business get to work <laughs> quit videotape me while i'm working so another stand the same stuff this these ears look a slightly bit bigger we might get bigger with better results than these um, these look more robust and again it might be the irrigation was the issue because these are more in the central part of the irrigation there so that might have been the situation with those others just wasn't enough water um, but these are looking a little bit healthier and we're gonna let these develop that's a nice size one right there so these might be the ones that are better off more sunflowers looking good How can you tell which ones are going to turn into seeds? Or you just assume? The birds haven't come down here and destroyed them yet. That's what I'm worried about is the birds on these coming down to destroy these. 
All right, in the main stand there, the breed of corn, just tasseled out in the last week or so. Looking good, looking strong, it's nice and thick. Don't see any silk. But everything looks really healthy, good in here. And hopefully it's a little bit cooler, a little less windy when this stuff goes to pollinate and it'll hopefully germinate a little bit better than the other sweet corn. Don't see any ears just yet. But we might just switch the numbers of this next year if we got more seed from this and maybe to do it half and half and stagger the time we plant them too. We're thinking about we'll uh, plant some earlier and then some later so it staggers out more so than like we did with this all at one, basically one shot, one week. Some flowers doing good here. More bees getting to work. Get to do your business. Do your business. And the last stand of sweet corn, which is looking as bad as the other one on the other end. I don't even know if this one had any ears in it. I don't see any ears. She may have pulled this too. It looks like. Yeah, there would have been ears on here. She may have pulled this, must have pulled this one. Oh wait, there's some ears over here. But maybe she pulled all these. Similar to the ones down at the other end. Okay, starting here on the same end with our pumpkin plant down here. And this one's on the far end of the irrigation. I was really worried about this one not doing good because it was so at the very end of the irrigation pattern. But it has outperformed or performed as well as anybody else that's for sure but you can see we got some boys coming in there like, oh yeah these guys are gonna be looking good but just don't focus on the flower it's hard to get the light in there yeah. but so yeah those are Everything's looking good here. You can see that's it's almost a small basketball. Volleyball size right there. Some more coming in. Oh, we're going to have pumpkin and squash for days. We're not going to be limited. These are all coming in. You got some fruits starting down there. Mr. B hanging out, doing your business. Good job. Good job. Good job, team. There's some more in here. Where are you at there? Yeah, there you are. Looking good. Some nice size. Yeah, about, I mean, we're getting six or seven a plant. Like These guys are all doing good, good stuff. So I know the pumpkins and the squash don't do so bad when the it's hot and windy. <laughs> These guys didn't have a problem. I don't see anything on this one. I'm not sure what kind of squash this is, but I don't see no fruit on it. It looks like the flowers still aren't fully in yet either. So maybe it's just a slower developing, later developing in the year to be determined. You can see this covered up our walkways. We might have to spread things out a little bit more next year for the pumpkin patch. Rearrange our organization. Yeah, this this type isn't uh, fruiting out just yet. Hopefully, hopefully there's no issues. I don't see nothing on this one either. This leaf pattern here so they're growing healthy they're getting they're big there's not there's no fruit on these yet we'll see what happens coming down to this type oh yeah look at that that's that's what you think of when you think of fall pumpkin i think this is a squash actually but Looks like a pumpkin. 
you got three or four fruits on there this one's doing strong looking good oh get out of there yeah oh see there it's one of those things you just put it in the ground water it take care of it don't let the animals get to it and it will grow <laughs> build it and they will grow that's why you say just uh live the dream go out and do it and uh you know do your best something you're bound to bound to benefit this big old thing doesn't have anything come on now so oh, there we go he's starting to fruit out there we go there we go oh somebody get to you buddy oh, a rabbit got to you dang it that's all right middle of that but i won't right now there's probably plenty of fruit under there we're talking about the cucumbers they're growing strong so they're starting to bloom out and hopefully we get to starting there's some the buds starting so we'll get some pollination on those hopefully the cucumbers start here next couple weeks hopefully but yeah in this big mass pumpkins and squash i don't know <laughs> what's going to come about out of that let's look at it from the side here see if we can see see what we can see looks to be growing strong all lots of blooms and everything so there's a little bit late started there something starting there we go it, just, it looks nice under there the rabbits haven't been terrorizing the place at least they've been uh, held at bay enough not to demolish everything so that's good in my book here you see here's the big winners right here big pumpkins coming in the big pumpkin charlie brown if you can see that foot focus yeah. there's some nice ones oh yeah those things are big so i'll be rebel you can get a pumpkin we'll let you come down and select one by hand if you want <laughs> Maybe get two, one for pumpkin pie, one for pumpkin bread. See that there? Just have to bring back the hole when you're done to feed to the pigs or the goats. <laughs> Still got some coming in, looking good. I always, when I water these, I'm always looking around like, how does the water get down to the roots? It's all in the leaves. But it works out, I guess. That's, they're designed and they work the way that are designed <clears throat> with their root system and whatnot, I guess. huge leaves oh there's a different there's like an acorn squash it looks like looking good you can see that there it's hard to focus with its shadows so yeah all the pumpkins and squash types are all looking good I don't think we're going to have any issues. The tomatoes, on the other hand, these guys, I mean, they still got some blooms out, but it may just have been too hot. They're at the end of the irrigation pattern. This is the, this tomato over here is doing the best, and I don't even see any blooms on it or anything. Um, <clears throat> so we may get skunked on the tomatoes, etc unfortunately unfortunately but plenty of other good stuff so that's our our gonna be our garden for the year we're gonna get a decent amount of corn not uh, not enough to go crazy with um, but uh, 
depending on how much that big stand there takes in depending on how much it brings in uh will depend on how much cornbread cream corn corn on the cob we get it probably pretty much relies on this one so no pressure all right folks that's pretty much the garden report piggy pool time piggy pool time right buddy are you just chilling you're like oh the ambiance all right it's just amazing how much quieter it is when everybody gets fed it's like silence quiet about the decks until they start fighting over the scraps <laughs> which will happen sooner rather than later probably right guys right gotta get rid of some of you guys all right right